Now we need to take our pocket piece if we're doing that and you need to fold it in half lengthways like this, okay? So that the outside is showing and iron this flat. With my pencil case laid open, I'm gonna take the pocket and I'm gonna place it where I want it on the pencil case, lining up the edges like so. Now that I've lined that up, I'm just gonna open the zip halfway and I'm gonna fold over this layer here. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to stitch from here down to the edge and go all the way around. But before I do that, I need to pin these pieces together. So when I'm pinning down in this section, I need to make sure that I'm going through all of the layers. So the layers of the pocket and the layers of the pencil case. Okay, so now that's pinned all the way around the edges, I'm just gonna go over to the sewing machine. So for this part, I can just remove the zipper foot by pressing the red button at the back. Return this to the teacher and take your normal presser foot, place it underneath the little clip here, slowly lower your presser foot until it picks it up. Now, make sure you put your needle position back to the center. And then now, taking your pinned pencil case, I'm gonna start here. I'm just going to pull out my first pin. I'm gonna start where this stitching finishes here. I'm gonna use the second line as my seam allowance. So I'm gonna just go forwards, do a couple stitches back, and then continue taking pins out as I come to them. Now, as I'm coming to the end, I need to stop when my fabric reaches this line here. Okay, so my fabric's reached that line. I'm gonna leave the needle in. I'm gonna lift the presser foot and I'm gonna pivot my fabric around. I'm gonna put my presser foot down again and I'm going to continue stitching. Again, when I get to this line here, I'm going to stop and pivot. And go right up to this line here of stitching. And reverse. And then make sure your needle's up out of your fabric. Lift your presser foot, pull it out, and trim your threads. Okay, so now we need to just trim off these excess bits of zipper tape that we don't need from either side. And trim the corners. So where we have our corners of stitching, we just want to go carefully trim that corner there so it turns inside out better. Make sure you don't cut into your line of stitching, otherwise you'll have a hole in your pencil case. And you can also, if you wish, just trim along the edge a little bit here, but again, be very careful not to cut into your line of stitching, otherwise you'll have holes in the pencil case. Make sure you put your rubbish in the bin. Now the moment of truth, we turn everything inside out. Okay, so now I should have a pencil case. Okay.